everybody, welcome back to Boner's Barbecue and Southern Cooking. Yeah, you can hear my little helpers here trying to help me. Uh, wife brought something home today, we're gonna give it a try. We got a sirloin tip roast. We're gonna smoke this today and see how it does. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put some rub on it. I got some uh, Weber Steak and Chop. Some of my favorite Belgian style white ale. You can see the Steak and Chop too. They're, uh, that one's a little bent up, but hey. Still good. We're gonna put them in a bag after we get them marinated or to rub on them. Put them in the fridge. We're gonna leave them sit there for three or four hours. Later this afternoon, I'm gonna throw these on the master built and get it all cooked up. We're gonna cook it about kind of like you do a normal steak. I'm gonna do it about probably temp about 250 with some apple wood. Get the internal tip up to about 125, 130, maybe a little higher, somewhere around there. Uh, don't want it well done. Want a little pink in the middle. But we'll start by, let's see if it's going to spill all over me. Because it is a steak, Boogie. A Same thing as a steak. That's what a steak's made out of, which is super thick. Oh. Or some of that one. Can I do that one? Oh. Can I do that one? You want to try that one a little bit? What do you think over here? There you go. Get right down in the middle there. There you go. Here, hold on. You can help. Here, hold on. Do it up on that side. Do a little bit on this hand. Get it all over it. All right. A little bit more down in the middle of that thing. Put a little bit on this side of it. That way we get all sides covered. All right, a little bit more of that. Well, this one's gonna be flavored up, folks. We're getting ready to get the bottom. Let me get some of this. The middle part. Steak and chop on it. The middle part's where you have to get the seasoning, but you can't Man, just get it. Man, this steak and chop, this thing wanting to come out good. I'll do a lot of mine on the bottom. There we go. Now, Miss Ellie's going to put the rest of hers, not all of hers, on there. Now, you got to leave it over here where everybody can see. Move your thing over here so you can stand up better. There you go. Right there. All right. That's good. Go ahead and shut the top of it. All right. So move that over. We got our bag here. Seasoning. Daddy, what about a lot the of edges? Meat. What about the edges right there? We got all the edges, pretty much. Look, we got enough, see? And then when I put it in the bag, I'm gonna dump all the rest of that right there down in the bag. Get my hands a little bit clean here. Daddy, are you going to use your special seasoning? Uh, I might put a little bit of my bummer rub on it at the end. Okay. And we'll take and pour all that back in there. And shake it. Try to get it closed up here. Oh, then they're a little crooked. Get most of the air out of it we can. Why? So it don't leak all over. Rub that in there some. Get it all over. All right, we can go throw this in the fridge there. We're gonna let it sit there. It's one o'clock now, probably about three hours, and we'll bring it out. Then it will be four o'clock. Let it warm up about room temp. Then it will be four o'clock when it's about four. ready. Yeah, three or four hours, four or five. Depends on the weather today. Hope it don't rain. Yep. All right, folks, we're gonna throw this in there, and we'll be back when we get ready to start cooking. All right, folks. Welcome back to Bummer's Barbecue and Southern Cooking. Well, it's actually the next day now. We live here in South Carolina, a little country. Uh, about five last night when I was getting ready to fire the grill up, the smoker up, the master built. Our normal weather showed up, but it wasn't like normal. It's supposed to have been a small storm, but it rained for about four hours. So I didn't get to cook it last night. I should make it better today. This has been sitting in the fridge. 
all the rub on it. Ooh, sorry. Got eat up by the mosquitoes from all the rain last night. They're all over out back. So this thing's been marinating about 26, 27 hours now. So I think the rub should be soaked in. But I got the master built heating up right now. Then we're going to take this out there and throw it on. We're going to cook it up to an internal temp of probably 130. I want a little bit, little bit, bit. I still want it red on the inside, but I don't want it bloody. So 130, 135, even at 130, it's still going to cook a little bit longer, another 5, 10 minutes. So it might come up a little bit higher. But folks, click the subscribe button down in the bottom. Give me some likes, man. You guys have been giving me a lot of love. Started this about a little over six months ago, and I'm now up to 120 subscribers. It is very much appreciated. I didn't think my little channel would ever get there. But, let's see Mama Kelly get some better video of this thing. Give her an upshot of it. Woo! Go in. Look at that. That thing's going to smoke up good, folks. All right. Once the smoker's heated up, we can go throw it on and get ready to start cooking. All right, folks. Welcome back. We got the big old roast out here. What, what was this, Mama? Sirloin tip roast? Yeah, I call it poor man roast. Okay, poor man roast. We got smoke pouring out because of this great addition. Thank you, Master Bill. Thank you, Mom, for buying it for you. I bought that. Mm -hmm. You didn't know what it was. But we're going to put this on. I got her up to 250. We're going to try to not cook it fast, but whoa. Oh, that's some smoke. I don't really smoke it. But the only grill I got on today is the middle one. I'm going to put it right there. I got my glove out because I'm going to use my master belt temp probe today. And I'm sure it's hot. stick it right here into the thickest part of the meat and that thing stuck up in there so it don't get caught in the door we gonna let her smoke until we get up to about 1 30 we're gonna pull her off no beating folks see you in a few Started her at 240. I ended up turning it to 260 just to get it done tonight with all these flies around. The weather, we're hungry. Meat probe is now telling me 136. And that's close to what I wanted. I got the smoker side off. Oh, oh, I am going to need my glove here. Sorry about that. Oh. Oh, that thing's got it. Oh, there we go. Let's see, where is this? There we go. There we go. Hold it for it. Oh, man. That's, oh, goodness. I don't know if I can get this off, Mama. There we go. Oh, look at them juices. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Still pouring out of it, folks. All right. Let's go ahead and get ready to cut, get this thing cut up. Smells good. Now start eating. See you in a few. All right, folks. Welcome back. Oh, man, that middle is juicy. I'm not sure which way the grain's going. I think it's going this way, so we're going to try it this way. Oh, 
Oh yeah, she is pink and good in the middle. Let's see oh. if we can make some lava come out. Let's see if we can make volcanoes. We're not making lava come out, Buggy. Oh, hold on guys, we gotta get a different tray real quick. Be right back. Yeah, All right, we just changed the plate around, folks. Sorry, that little thing wasn't working. Oh. She's looking pretty good. She was smoking, I started at 240, but the temps weren't going up, so I set it up to 260. But what my wife likes, it kind of looks like a medium rare, doesn't it, Mama? Yes, it does. Like you, what you like? Mm-hmm. You don't like it bloody. I like a warm pink in the middle. Warm pink in the middle. Exactly how I like it. Mm -hmm. Oh man, guys, this tastes good. Took a little bite here just a second ago. piece off. Cut that off. I think that's the best I can get folks. Looking pretty good. It was a quick cook tonight. But oh man. Hold on. Let's see if I can get a better picture with this one. Oh she's all red inside. We're ready to eat. See you folks in the next video. Please like and subscribe, folks. Helps me out. Makes me happy. Thank you.